Hello, beautiful people of God. Come and listen. Lean in, listen, and smile. A child is born. To us, a son is given, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace. Come listen for the brush of angels' wings, and listen as the heavenly chorus sing the good news that we no longer need to fear the dark, because light, beautiful, love-filled light has come. To us and to all of creation, a child has been given, and he will be the light and the love and the life that will change the world and set things right. Like shepherds, we too come to the stable, uncertain of what we have heard and seen, longing to hear a word of peace and joy. Like the wise ones, we have journeys to make, gifts to offer, and hope in our hearts that this world can change for the better. Here, in the stillness of winter, we gather to share the light of Christ, a light that shines so brightly that there is no dark that can overcome it. We gather in the wonder of this day to share our joy and to give thanks for the gift of gifts, the gift of new life. Lighting the Advent candles and Christ candle. We join our hearts as one as we remember and give thanks and celebrate that into the dark comes the light. We light a candle of hope, hope for ourselves and hope for God's beloved world. Mm -hmm. We light a candle of peace, peace in our hearts and on earth.
we light a candle of joy, joy to the world and within our whole being. We light a candle of love, the promise of God's love for us and for all creation. And now the time has come and the good news of the season has been fulfilled. We light the Christ candle, the light of the world, the light of possibility. Amen. Listening to the story, first lesson, Genesis 1, verse 26, and Genesis 2, verse 4. God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature so that they could be responsible for the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves in the face of the earth. God created human beings. Reflecting God's nature, God created them male and female. And God blessed them. Prosper, 
reproduce, fill earth, take charge, be responsible for the fish in the sea and birds in the air, for every living thing that moves on the face of earth. God looked over everything God had made, and it was so good, so very good. from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2 and 6 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Oh, hey. 
lesson, Luke 1, verses 26 to 35. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greetings this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
A reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And so it is, we have journeyed to Bethlehem and we have found our kneeling places. 
gathered in the light of the one we have been waiting for, life has become fresh and new and filled with possibilities. We pause in this time and look back at how far we have come. We have traveled through dark times. We have walked too fast through this world. And so we have missed the miracles that were always there waiting for us. Yet we see them now. Because of Christ born all those many years ago, but alive and among us still, we see that forgiveness and grace are possible. Relationships can be healed. Peace is possible. Love abounds. And for that, we thank God and amen. In our prayers in this service, in our prayers of the people, I will leave many moments of silence during which time I would invite you to offer your own prayers, either in the silence of your hearts or right out loud. And so beautiful people, let us pray together. God of star and stable, you lead us to wonder and to hope. You gather us together to hear once more your promise of love. And as we gather, we offer our concerns and our dreams, our hopes and our fears. Like the shepherds who sought the stable, we seek your promise of peace. We pray for your people broken by violence, those who live with fear and those who live without hope. And we remember them and we pray for your courage and peace. Like the wise ones who dedicated their gifts, we remember those in need. We pray for those who are lonely, hungry, or forgotten, for those who are ill in body or in spirit, for those who are confused or afraid. We pray your joy and love for all your people, especially for those we name now, either aloud or in the silence of our hearts. And Holy One, you came as a child, offering renewal of spirit and of living. May our prayers be a new beginning, a new beginning for healing, for truth, for reconciliation, and for trust. May we embody love that is forgiving, compassionate, and gracious. May we echo back the angel song of peace and joy. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, who became the Christ. Amen.
And so from this house to yours, may you share in the gifts of this season. May love, the promise of generations, attend you. Joy, the gift of life together, fill you. Peace, the desire of neighbor and nations, find you. Hope, the horizon of faith, sustain you. And may a very merry Christmas season be yours. And amen. Yeah.